Teak Four Hundred and Fifty Seven. Sorry, I've not actually done a video for quite some while for the Teak Forum. Um, I've actually not been up to it. I've been ill, and then when I came back to work, work pressures were so much I just couldn't keep up with the forum. Uh, so thanks to others and all you out there, the moderators that we've got on the forum, and uh, other members of forum, uh, the forum that's uh, certainly been answering a lot of questions about things on the forum and they've been answering basically on my behalf well done thanks very much anyway uh, the reason why i'm actually doing this video is we've got a chappy on the forum that's decided he's built a system up himself uh, done a very nice job on it and he's actually got f um, four individual bedini set outs that he's using to drive a wheel round basically with magnets on as, as bedinis do but it's a four a four pot motor as he calls it but he wants to be able to switch the batteries without disconnecting them in other words, he needs to switch them from charge to run. In other words, the two batteries need to do that, but without disconnecting them. So I've come up with this diagram for him. He's actually going to use a separate coil in his, that's going to be uh, within his configuration. So he needs to go through a bridge rectifier, and he's going to actually switch the charge between um, the Bedini uh, run battery and the charge battery. In other words, uh, the actual back EMF is charging a completely separate battery. Although you could run the back EMF down into these two wires and disconnect all this, get rid of this, run straight out of the Bedini back EMF into this, and then you can use this system just to switch from battery one to battery two. This gentleman has happened to be having three batteries, although he may change his mind on that. Right, this is one I put together earlier um, uh, of this diagram, and I did this just to test it like I do everything. How this works is, as you can probably see, there's three positions on these switches. That's on, that's off, and that's on. So these are meant to go up and down together. Never like that. Ever. Um, not that it really will do anything, but they're not designed to be run like that. As you can see, that's in the off position at the moment. And what this will actually do is allow you, when in that position, that will be running the pulse motor from battery one whilst the back EMF from the pulse motor will be charging battery 2. In that position, all off, batteries, all batteries disconnected, and in that position, I should say battery 1, will be on charge from the back EMF from the motor, where battery 2 will be running the motor. So I hope that's um, straightforward enough. The wiring is very simple. All I did was mount them on a board, and as you can see on the diagram there's numbers, and I put the same numbers on the back of this and then just wind them up accordingly to the diagram. So basically all you've actually got is a link from there to there, a link from there to there. That becomes the input. In other words, you could put that directly onto your charge battery. In this case, he's going to put it to a bridge rectifier. That one there would be battery two. That goes to battery one, and that would go out to run the Bedini itself. Those wires would never change because the switches do all the change. This all could be done with one switch, four pole changeover. I haven't got a four pole changeover, so I've done a two pole changeover and used two switches. Can also be done with a relay and other pieces of devices like a battery swapper. But as it goes, we're going for the mechanics to keep it simple. There is one other little thing that I'd like to mention. Um, I'm sorry for boring you on this. But when disconnecting and connecting batteries, especially wet cell batteries, wet cell batteries do actually give off a gas. If you create a spark whilst you're disconnecting it, you could actually have the battery explode in your face. Now, please don't uh, be alarmed by that. There's a way around this, and that's to put a switching circuit. So you actually switch it all off before, in other words, centre it, before disconnecting any batteries. It's very important when you're using wet cell batteries, such as motorcycle batteries, car batteries, uh, and, and even some buggy batteries. Please remember, batteries, when vaporising off, in other words, when being charged, uh, give off vapours that is explosive. I have seen a lot of batteries that I've been out to jobs where they've exploded for no explanation whatsoever um, and the explanation is the guy obviously tried to disconnect it whilst there was a power on it and got a spark from when touching the battery and bang the battery went up 
Be very careful on that, please. 